Some CTFs, like the Holiday Hack Challenge, love to throw in a browser game for you to hack. I've solved these challenges before using the DevTools console or even using Burp to modify JavaScript being delivered to the browser. But there's another feature in the Chrome DevTools that I've never played with before called Local Overrides. And today we're gonna look at Local Overrides and show how I can use them to solve the Snowball Showdown Challenge from the 2024 Holiday Hack Challenge. Uh, let's go ahead and dive in. Um, so it's, if we're gonna learn about overrides, it's good to have an example. Um, this, we're gonna look at the Snowball Showdown, the Great Elf Divide. Um, it's a game from the Holiday Hack Challenge. I'll have a link to it uh, down in the description here. Um, so we need to have some idea of how the game works in order to see how this makes a difference. Um, there's some options here. I'm just gonna jump in and play random matchmaking. And uh, cool, looks like we're in here and ready to go. So basically um, I'm throwing snowballs here. You can see my guy, I can move my mouse around and sort of change how the snowballs throw. Even if I click repeatedly, I only can only throw one every, I don't even know, like a second or so. And my goal here is to hit Wombly over here and I need to get more Wombly hits than Alabaster hits. Um, I can throw into this, divide in the middle here and it sort of takes a chunk out but it's that that stuff also starts to grow back over time so it's like i can't really tunnel through here effectively um the game i think will stop me eventually here maybe not we'll see. yeah you can see it's starting to grow back now so um anyway that's there um you know that's the game i gotta i gotta hit Wombly. um it's worth thinking about this game of we could dig into it, but if you dig into it, you can see that really I control my character here, but then there's a series of web sockets coming down from the server. So when I click this, I send something over the web socket to say, hey, a snowball just got thrown from this position with this velocity, but the, where the elves actually are and what get, where the hits happen, that's all happening on the server. So I can't really mess with that. All right, so let's check out local overrides. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just jump into, oops, I'm not mean to block element. Let's try that. Let's get out of that. So let's try inspect and sources here. So this is the um, setup for the game. I've got, you know, four JavaScript files, a bunch of other stuff. What, I don't know what this is. Um, oh, images. These are images coming down. Um, and really, I want to mess with this JavaScript, but there's a few things we can take a look at. next. Before we go, actually, I'm going to jump back to the login screen here. We can take a start here. Um, if I come over here to the network tab, let's see, we can see, is there a background image? Here's back, the background image. So we get this background image from the server. Um, so if I right click here and do override content, um, it's gonna pop up and say, you've not set this up. And so we can actually, I can do it then, or I can show you how to you know, come over here to the overrides tab. Oh, actually it is set up. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and clear this. So now it's not set up. Um, and we can select folder for overrides. So this has to be set up before you start working. And there we go. So we have a thing. I'm just gonna pick this overrides directory here. It's gonna say, are you sure you wanna give DevTools permission to this? this? I'm gonna say allow. And now I've got this directory. And so if I come back to my network tab now and do override content, it basically is going to save a copy of that in that directory. And that, there it is. So uh, I can come here in a, in a browser, let's make this a little bigger so you can see it, and copy something from my picture. I don't even know what I have here. Let's, I think there's a desktop, yeah, image to overrides, that images, background, boom, background.jpg. So now we've just overridden it with this new thing. Uh, now, if we come back, to the main page and refresh, <laughs> when it goes to the server to request that, it's gonna first check, hey, is there anything in the overrides folder that matches this path? And if so, I'll get return that instead. And so you can see the, the size isn't quite right, but you get the point here. Like we've, over, we've basically said, it's like a host file almost. So before you make that DNS request, check here. So before you make that web request for this object, in this case, an image, check here. And we got the local copy instead. Um, cool, we can also, let's see, uh, so we can go we'll jump into the game here, but uh, we come here in the dev tools and uh, where was my network tab? You can also change things like, um, let's see, what's, what's, what's something good to show? It doesn't really matter, but like I can change the actual HTTP headers. So I can say override headers and I can actually come in here and now uh, and change this stuff and what is going on here. And again, that just means when I, next time I request this, um, make this same request, it'll return the saved request metadata that I've saved. There's not really a point in doing that in this game, but um, it's an option if I want it going forward. Um, but the most interesting part for this game is I'm gonna mess with the JavaScript. Um, and again, I showed how, kind of how I can do this in the console. Um, they made, if my blog post for this challenge, I'll show how you can find, um, there's this main scene object, that, but it's only because that they export this main scene object that you have access to in the console. And so you might not always have that. Um, so, but I, I can always mess with the JavaScript. So let's do that. 
Um, we can come over here to sources. You don't have to do it just in the networking tab. And we can say um, the snowball game.js. This is our interesting set JavaScript. We are going to override content. And you can see now it's showing up in the overrides here in a different folder. Um, and we can come in here and start to make some changes. And so based on what we just talked about, I'm, I'm just going to show four changes here. Um, let's set healing terrain to false. And so now the terrain won't heal on me. Um, let's set throw rate of fire to zero. That's like the delay between my throw is a thousand, which is probably one second, a thousand milliseconds. So I'm just going to set it to zero so I can throw really fast. Um, let's see, what else was I wanted to do? Um, I could do, there's, there's some other fun ones. Let's do blast radius. Uh, where is that set? IUS equals. Here we go. Blast radius is 24. Let's just make that a lot bigger. Um, and what else can we do? Um, there's one other, that, that, that right there is enough for me to solve for sure. Um, but there's a funny one here um, that I always think is kind of fun. Only move horizontally. Uh, let's set that to false. <laughs> and uh, so now if we come back here and we refresh this page and we hit ready, we can throw snowballs. And you see our snowballs are taking out giant chunks of stuff. Um, I can move up and down. I can, you can see how much faster I'm throwing and the terrain isn't coming back. So I can just sit here and pummel Wombly. Um, now I could look at ways like, oh, is there some way I can prevent Alabaster from getting hit? But again, that's happening on the server. Um, and so this snowball gets thrown on the server and this snowball lands on the server. And all the server does is send me a web socket saying like a snowball was thrown from this point with this velocity. And then my browser calculates it, but whether or not it hits, even if I move my Alabaster out of the way, the server still has it. So. Uh, the real secret is to just sit here and pay attention and throw the snowballs at Wombly uh, like this repeatedly, and you will get more hits than they get on Alabaster. Um, although Alabaster does get hit a lot. But anyway, this game is not even necessarily the point. Just how cool is this that I can now save copies um, either on my file system or through the browser, edit the JavaScript, edit the things that are coming back, and uh, use that to hack my game. So I'm going to call it here. Uh, still 60 seconds to go in this game, but I think we're going to win. We're up 8 to 4 already. Oh, make that 9 to 4. And uh, we're in a pretty good spot. So thanks for hanging out with me today. Uh, I will talk to you next time. Bye.